I'm here with my post-apocalyptic mini reviews and the first set of books that I really hope that you guys will check out is the Way We Fall series and I think that's what it's called I'm not sure exactly but it is a trilogy so the first one is The Way We Fall by Megan Crew and then the second book is The Lives We Lost and then the third book is The World We Make, which I do not own, so I'm showing you the cover. So, I actually have read only the first book, and I haven't had a chance to read the second one. But I thought it was good enough to do a review because I really like this one. It is about a girl who is quarantine I want to say quarantine on her in her little town or city I forget because it was so long ago but she's basically quarantined in her town because there is this super virus that is you know run amok and it kind of gives me that feeling of um that movie outbreak by I don't know who the director is but it has that same kind of feel where they all had to, you know, shut inside their homes and be careful of who they're in contact with and, you know, basically survival skills and um, what do you do when there's a sickness out there and how do you, you know, how do you survive and how do you get food and how do you get water and what makes people... Um, you know turn on each other so I really really thought this book had that and I really enjoyed it I gave this one a three out of five um, also the whole part seems so realistic I was reading this and I was thinking you know what this could actually happen in real life um, people could get quarantined because of these like super viruses and oh it's kind of scary to think about it so um it is a really interesting book. It is a little scary if you are, you know, paranoid about that stuff, but it is good in a way because you know what? It is fiction. It could be real, but it is fiction for now. So, um, yeah, this is, um, by a Canadian author. So Megan Crew is Canadian and, um, I think I have met her. I met her. Yes, I did. So this my book is signed. Yeah, it is signed. I always forget. But she is awesome and I have yet to read the rest of the series. But it was good enough that I really wanted to keep going and I have to get the last one to find out what happens because I'm excited to find out if the virus is actually cured or not. I don't know. And the next set of books I have to say... Is one of my favorites. It is on my small list of favorite books and when I read this one it was um, an arc so I had no idea what it was about. It was just literally a galley where she just had the title and the author's name and had a lot of spelling mistakes and gra grammatical errors but I just loved it so much that I had to get a finished copy and this is Dark Inside by Jen Roberts and I know it, it is a really creepy cover and uh what can I say about this book it is so so good um I know a lot of people have read this one and they loved it so much I want to say you don't know what happens or what is going on in this book because the people in this book is attacked by a virus but they go all murderous. I want to say zombies because they're kind of like zombies, but they're not dead. So I don't know what it is because Jen hasn't finished the third book and oh my god, it was just so good. This is set in, you know, um, like the end of the world. It is post-apocalyptic and survival. It is following four teens, so there are four point of views, but you get to see the different personalities and the stories that they go through and the... Oh, it was just... Oh, I don't even know what I'm saying because it is just one of my favorite reads and I need people to read it more. Um, I just really 
love this book. Her writing is very fluid, very fast paced, and you're always turning the pages because you want to know why the world is the way it is, right? So I just loved it so much. Um, yeah, like I said, five out of five, I gave this one. And this is the cover, I want to say. The people here, you know, they're trying to survive. And the second book I forgot because I was so excited is <laughs> Rage Within by Jen Roberts. And as you can tell, look at, check out that bloody van. It is crazy read. The people, I want to say zombies because that's what they are to me. The zombies are crazy violent and, you know, we go and we're in these adventures. I want to say adventures, but they're really just trying to save their lives and save their butts. So, oh, it continues into this one. Um, I gave this one a five out of five as well. And I don't want to spoil anything, but it is just so good. You guys need to read it. I love this series and it is probably one of my underrated series and I need more people to read it like I said. Um, the third one I'm not sure when it comes out. I have been following Jen on Twitter because she's Canadian so yay. Um, I believe she is writing the third one. Not sure but yeah I'll probably do like an annotation here if I find out more info but you can read my reviews because I have both um, read and reviewed them and they are so good guys yes these are I believe the Canadian versions from Simon & Schuster the UK versions are a lot more simpler so yeah cannot wait for the third one it is probably one of my most anticipated ones to see and the last series of books that I really hope you guys check out is Shipbreaker by Paolo Basagalupi. I think that's how you say his name. Um, this follows a boy who is, um, he scavenges. He scavenges shipwrecks to gather material. I believe that's what he was doing. I read this so long ago. I read all of these books so long ago, so my memory is blank. But it is an adventure set in a futuristic world where oil oil is scarce and he has to survive. I remember reading this so fast. I think it was a two re in two sittings. Um, I know lots of people didn't like it as much as it's gotten um, mixed reviews, but I don't know. I just I like boy books and this is set in the in the point of view of a boy. And the way that I got this book was because that it it was like one of the award-winning ones and sometimes I do check them out because they are one of the best ones and I liked it so much I bought it. Um, I did own the paperback but I gave it away because I wanted the hardcover. So this, from what I can remember, he scavenges ships for parts and he sends them to his I want to say employer and they're a bunch of kids so they go through all of these like very they're unsafe shipwrecks so they scavenge oil and they scavenge parts for their employer um it is set in that world and I just remember having read it read it and loved it and it was just really good writing and yeah it was just I think I gave this one a five yeah a five um I'm not sure if I reviewed it but I just remember loving the adventure and the fast-paced writing so yeah this one is excellent and the second companion novel to Shipbreaker is The Drowned Cities. Now this one is set in a different like uh, landscape I want to say. This one is set in the beach because of all the ships and this one is set in the city as you can tell by the cover. And I thought that was a different contrast to Shipbreaker but we do follow a different set of characters but Paolo writes with such fluid motion and intensity that you're always like wanting to get to the next page so I really love the way he writes because 
the characters just keep going through all of their problems and and trying to survive just trying to survive um in this new world where everything is crazy and people are different and it's just it was just really good writing so i think i gave this one a four or a five um i believe i did a review on this one so you can sorry guys i ran out of space so I had to refilm again. I hope you guys like these recommendations. Let me know if you guys have read any of them or let me know if you are excited to read any of them because I really want to hear what you think. So till next time, bye guys.